hello guys so now we shall be discussing regarding the parts of the penis okay so what are the different parts of the penis we have got what are the different parts of the penis we will discuss now now regarding the parts of the penis first of all i'll draw the structure of the penis and then i'll explain you individually what are the parts we have got in the penis okay so this part which i'm drawing right now is your glans penis all of you know about this this is your glans penis all the way down like this the end is having a bulbous part like this okay and after that you have got the structure like this right now this is the a uh, rough picture of the penis which i have drawn here now all of you have to know that this part over here is the urethral meatus external opening right so this is called as a external urethral meatus external urethral meatus okay and this part of the penis you call it as the glans penis what is this you call it as you call it as the glans penis now this round part which you can see here this part over here is called as corona glandis what is this called this is called as corona glandis and after that this part which seems like a neck and obviously is yes, this is called as the neck of the penis this is called as a neck of the penis next next in the center this part whatever is there next important thing is the center part which you can see here right so let me highlight this part over here guys so this center part which i'm highlighting with the yellow this part is called as a spongiosum part okay which you also call it as corpus spongiosum so this center yellow color part over here is called as your corpus spongiosum this is called as your corpus spongiosum and after that this part which is in the periphery on either side is called as corpus cavernosa this is called as corpus cavernosa okay so there are two important things here one is called as corpus spongiosum another one is called as corpus cavernosa now after that if you come down over here guys so down this bulb like thing is called as the bulb of the penis what is this called as this part over here is called as the bulb of the penis bulb of the penis and second important thing is these wedge shaped structures which are like this these are called as a crura these are called as a crura of the penis now between the bulb and between the crura you have got a membrane like thing like this between the bulb and between the crura you have got somewhat like a membrane so this membrane like thing you call it as perineal membrane what is this membrane you called as you call it as perineal membrane so what are the structures over here we discuss something called as external urethral meters and next we have got the glans penis we have got the corona glandis neck of the penis corpus spongiosum corpus cavernosum the crura and the perineal membrane and the bulb okay now important thing to know is that in the bulb region you have got a special muscle in the bulb like this so this special muscle which is located in the bulb region is called as bulbo spongius muscle right so what is the name of this muscle over here the name of this muscle is bulbo spongiosus muscle the name of the muscle is bulbo spongiosus muscle in the same way here also in the crura we have got a muscle so what is the muscle that is located in the crura over here this muscle is called as ischio cavernous muscle right so what is this muscle called as this is called as ischio cavernous muscle ischio cavernous muscle okay so if we divide the entire penis into different parts so we have got this part and this part see all of you look here now so this part of the penis which i am showing it to you right now over here right so this part of the penis which i am showing it to you right now over here this is called as the root of the penis and in the same way this part of the penis which i am showing to you to right here is called as the body of the penis 
So there are two parts of the penis. One is called as the body of the penis. Another one is called as the root of the penis. And we have also got the neck of the penis here. Right? This is called as the neck of the penis. Body of the penis is comprising of two parts. One is called as corpus spongiosum and corpus cavernosa. Root of the penis is comprising of two parts. One is called as the crura and the perineal membrane. Right? Crura and the perineal membrane. Not only crura and the perineal membrane, even the bulb is also the part of the root. Okay, the bulb is also the part of the root. And in the crura, you have got a muscle called as what is this muscle? Here you have got a muscle called as ischio cavernous muscle. And here in the bulb, you have got a muscle called as bulbospongiosus muscle. Okay, right. So this is the penis which you can see. Now, what I will do is that. I will take a sagittal section of the penis. Okay, so in the sagittal section, how does the penis look? We shall discuss right now. So we shall look at the sagittal section of the penis. Now, in the sagittal section of the penis, so this is how it looks. This is how the sagittal section looks. Right. So nothing to confuse about this. So let me just differentiate this part over here. You will understand it better. So this is a different part. This is a different part over here. And the third one is this one is also a different part. Okay, so there are three different parts. So this is a section which you are actually looking from the side. Okay, so if you look at the penis here, this is how the penis that is looking from the side. So this is from the side view. So this is the exact picture which I am drawing it here, right? So in this, there are quite many different parts which you can see here. For example, this part over here is called as corpora cavernosa. So this corpora cavernosa is the outer part or inner part? That is the outer part, corpora cavernosa, right? So this one is your corpora cavernosa. After corpora cavernosa, this last part, the part which is in the form of a wedge shape or a sharp pointed end after in the corpora cavernosa, what is this called as? The end part of the corpora cavernosa, which is in the form of a wedge shaped, is called as your what? It is called as your crura, right? So, this is called as a crust or the crura of the penis. Crust of the penis or the crura of the penis, okay? And this green color part which you can see here, this is called as corpora spongiosum. Corpora spongiosum, right? So, where is this corpora spongiosum? The center one. And corpora spongiosum is continuing as what? It is continuing as a bulb. So, it means this part is called as the bulb of the penis. This part over here is called as a bulb of the penis. Next, this center part which you can see is the opening that is called as a urethra. The center part which you can see is the opening called as urethra. And this wide opening which you can see here, this is called as external urethral meatus. So it means this one, external urethral meatus. So this is the one. External urethral meatus, right? And this uh, oval part which you can see, this gap which you can see here in the center, this gap over here is called as navicular fossa. This gap over here is called as your navicular fossa. So these are some of the structures which when you see from the sagittal section, you would find. So on the sagittal section, if they give you such picture and they point at, let us say if they are pointing at navicular fossa and asking you, you should be able to answer. If they are pointing at external urethral meters and asking you, you should be able to answer. And most importantly, if they point at corpora cavernosa, or corpus spongiosum also you should be able to answer this part okay so this is the sagittal section okay so this is all you need to know regarding the uh, sagittal section of the penis thank you so much for watching my video goodbye